passed his listening test. Take time to read the questions by using the pause button. Where is the chemist's? Excuse me, is there a chemist's near here? Ah, uh, yes. Go straight on, turn left, then it's on the right between the bank and the cafe. Great. Thank you very much. What is Simon going to do? What are you going to do next weekend, Simon? Oh, there's a good film on at the Phoenix on Saturday evening, Dorian Gray. So I'm going to see it with Tim. Oh, right. I know it. I read the book. It was very good. Why can't the woman take the plane? Why are you going to take the train? Well, I know it's slow and expensive, but it's because my husband Bill doesn't like planes, you see. It's terrible. He arrives at the airport and he feels ill, and that's before we get on the plane. He hates it, so we can't fly. Anyway, I like trains. Me too. What was the weather like yesterday? Oh, I'm late for work. Where's my umbrella? But it's going to be hot and sunny today, Sandy. Why do you want your umbrella? Hot and sunny? I don't believe it. Yesterday, I didn't take my umbrella and it rained. So I'm going to take it today. Ah, there it is. OK, bye. Why has the woman decided to use a bike instead of a car? Jane, great to see you on your bike. So at last you've left your car at home. Well, it's not for the reasons you think. I've put the car up for sale. On my student income, it just didn't work. I know, I know, don't start lecturing me about car fumes, the ozone layer, the polluted air we breathe. Look at the state I'm in after a quarter of an hour of cycling. Exhausted and cold, who knows, I might have caught flu or something. If you're ill, you shouldn't be doing this, of course. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure I'll feel better when I warm up a bit. You overhear two college students talking about applying for a weekend job. What do they agree about? Did you see the advert on the college notice board about weekend jobs in the kitchens? Yes, but I really wanted something that's related to my studies, you know, that would look good on my CV. Mind you, it would get me out of the house and give me something a bit less serious to do. And of course, it would help to have the extra money, what with the fees and the books I need this term. Hmm. I'm lucky not to have that problem. But I like the idea of meeting people. That really sounds fun, and I don't think we should be worrying about our career prospects yet. You hear part of a talk about how to look fit and healthy. What is the speaker's advice? As soon as you start an exercise programme, you'll start looking healthier. And if you keep it up, you'll see the difference in the mirror within a few weeks. Forget the scales, they're not a good way of telling if you're losing body fat. Replacing fat with muscle makes you look better, but it may actually increase your weight, as muscle weighs more. So just look in the mirror and enjoy the improvement. And don't be fooled by the usual fad diets telling you to cut out sugar or bread. None of them work, and some people think they're downright dangerous. On a radio programme, you hear some information about a future guest. With the summer approaching and all this good weather we're having, it's time to start thinking of the outdoor life. 
Graham Sanders, who's an expert on mountain climbing, is going to be explaining how to make sure you get exactly the right kit. There's so many products now that finding the right items can be a difficult job. But by picking up some insider secrets, you can be sure of making the right choice. And when you've got your gear home, it'll be time to show off all you can do. As Graham often says, with some preparation, anybody can climb even the highest mountain. On the radio, you hear a woman talking about a sport. What is she doing? Scrambling is often described as the grey area between walking and climbing. Technically, as soon as you start to put your hands on rock, it becomes a scramble. However, one person's scrambling is another person's climbing. It depends on your perception. If you come from a walking background, as soon as your hand touches the ground, you may class that as a scramble, whereas if you're from a climbing background, you'd think differently. The typical scramblers are people who find rock climbing too difficult or who don't have a head for heights. You hear a radio presenter talking about a theatre. What does he say about it? And now some news about the Orion Theatre. The local council has decided to concentrate financial support on other venues in the city centre after realising that the Orion would have needed about £14 million of investment to save it. An award-winning filmmaker will make a 45-minute documentary which will follow the staff and production companies as the Orion Theatre enters its final season, including interviews with famous performers. The aim is to concentrate on the achievements of the theatre as a venue for arts in the local community since it first opened its doors in 1989 and on its reputation for innovative and creative theatre.